I saw the writing on the wall. I was in probably 80 boutiques, Ritz Carlton's, doing shows, trade shows, and I could just sense it. And I didn't want to be wallpaper for anybody. So I pulled back. I said, I've got to do something very creative here. I'm going to leave the B2B, the business to business, and go business to consumer. And in doing that, I needed to be out in front of people. How was I going to do that? Well, as luck would have it, the inaugural wall came into play, and I was asked to be a part of the Boots and Black Tie, which happens to be the Texas uh, constituency. And they selected certain DC designers to be a part of that. Well, I'm there at the Texas Boots and Black Tie, and never in a million years, trillion years, would I ever think that people in Texas who have ranches would like my handbag is sparkly. <laughs> I didn't know Texas. I heard that. I didn't know Texas. And I love my dad. No, Texas. I know. I know. Shame on me. I had the wonderful opportunity of Congressman Gene Green, his wife Helen, came to my booth at the at the Boots and Black Tie, and she said, "Honey," and I had no idea who she was. Honey, I just love these handbags. You read with that ball. I love that ball when she was saying, "She was like, I just love these bags." You really need to take these to Texas. There's this Houston Livestock and Rodeo show. And they would just go right there. And I'm thinking, what is she saying about my product? <laughs> I really had to think about it, but I, of course, didn't know who she was. And let me tell you, I am all Texas, baby. I love Texas. Texas is a country in all it, unto itself, trust me. On the right is the Texas uh, Dallas cheerleaders. Um, I, I, I am so grateful because they each have a blue and white Laura Lee design handbag. Of course, they're carrying them and they, they are there in the show for me when I'm not down there. So those are the girls that represent Laura Lee designs when I'm not there. And on the left is uh, Dominique Sasa that was at an interview. Let me tell you, don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that something can't be made out of nothing because I did not, I wasn't being ungrateful, I just didn't assume that a rodeo would translate into what it has translated into. And I'm so grateful that I listened. It was that strong out of listening and just taking that opportunity and saying, you know what, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I have to do, I did want to do something completely different. It has given me an opportunity to be in front of people. It's given me the opportunity to have many focus groups. It's given me the opportunity to take my bridal line to a whole new level. Those girls in the South, let me tell you, they love their weddings. They love them here, but they really love them down in the South. So much so that I'm making cowboy boots with, with beads on them now. <laughs> I'm in prototype uh, mode for that. So the bridal line has got a whole new life because of Texas. The alumni line, who knew? Virginia Tech, yes, all of you Virginia Techies, I know, I know, I get it. You love your school. Listen, nothing like Texas. <laughs> so I know my friends, I know KB and Cynthia are always saying, you're always in Texas. God, have you been to Texas lately? <laughs> so I'll, I'll stop talking about Texas. I'm going after the licenses. I've got five licenses right now. I'm very fortunate and very grateful. Um, that I've got Texas Christian, Virginia Tech, University of Houston, uh, those ones aren't up there, um, and, um, and Texas Tech, um, Heidi Keller, I'm very happy about that, finally got her school in there. I'm after Texas A&M, University of Texas, and I'm going after uh, 20 more this year, which will include the likes of Michigan, Penn State, uh, Florida, Alabama, Auburn, if I'm saying your school's name, and if I'm not, I'm sorry, just let me know, because I am going to be doing a full alumni.